So how do you design your own shirt online? Well, uh, you may design your screen print shirts or your uh, embroidered polos, even your uh, embroidered hats. But let's just go design uh, a a screen printed tee. All right. So you can start designing your own shirts online if you'd like. Just hit start designing. Okay. And you'll come to a page like this. And this is the online design uh, platform. Okay. Now, if you go to design templates, this one's going to give you, present you different types of templates you may use right away. Okay. Well, let's go over here and let's start with a blank canvas because from this blank canvas, you'll be able to go right into the design template. And I'll show you how. And here, let's say that you saved art, which you'll find out soon. Uh, you may go here and grab your saved art, okay, which is a good thing to do. All right, so let's click choose blank canvas, okay, and this is where you'll arrive at. Now, let's say you wanted to change the product. Oh, that's like a nice uh, uh, white tee. You may go change that product, like right here. You just click uh, change product, choose right here. Hmm, okay, how about a men's performance wear or a long sleeve, um, something like that for ladies or men? How about a polo shirt? Okay, how about $12 polos? Okay, another uh, business that's owned by the same owner here. Uh, let's go here, though. Let's just go to, uh, let's go here to men's. Uh, long sleeve, for example. Then you may choose one of these, okay, and that would change uh, what you're designing on. So let's X this off. Watch how I X this off. Boom. Okay, so you're starting with a blank canvas because this is just your standard uh, T here. And uh, you want to change the color. You choose that, and the shirt color will change. A nice try of blue there. Okay, see how that changed? Okay, let's go back to white right down here. All right. And then so on change product side, let's say you want to do the back. Okay, you want like a name and a number or something like that or a logo or a message. You may do that. So let's go back here and go back to the front. All right. Now, how do you create the design on a shirt? Well, two things here, or three things. You may upload an image of your logo or a photo or something like that and have it uh, appear on a shirt or you may add art okay or you can just add text so let's try something simple for you right now let's go with add text and watch what happens hey there it says right there new text okay okay so let's say we want to change that to something like free and then go return and create a second line copy how about something like that and let's make copy all caps Oh, uh -huh. you see how that's changing on the shirt? Now, if we click over in here, oh, okay, that's looking okay, but see how that looks a little crowded? Let's open up that line space some. So see over here where it says line height? You just start toggling up and watch that free coffee start to separate a little bit. And let's take it down one right about there. What do you think? How's that look? Hey, that's much easier to read. Let's open it up just a little more. You go back here, line height. Okay, so free coffee. Now that's reading pretty good. Let's check it out. Okay, and then by clicking on it, eh, let's move it up some. Now notice the top of that bar, a uh, square. That's You don't want to exceed that because that gets too close to the collar. So that looks good right about there. How about like right there? Now notice the center line that appears. That lets you know you're on center. So you just hold your mouse down, drag it right there, let it go. Boom. Free coffee. Hey, I'll move it down. Let's move it down just a little smidgen there like that. Oh, that's looking good. Free coffee. All right. So, and if you wanted to change the color right here, you just go color from black. Let's go to maybe a, how about like a dark green. So, okay. What do you think? Oh, let's go back to the black because that seems more legible on a white shirt. Boom. But that just gives you an example how easy it is to place text 
on your shirt, okay? So let's move on. Let's do something with an image, okay? Like you may upload your own image to work with or we have a bushel of free designs and art that you may choose from, okay? But before we do, let's do this. You want to go here and hit save and you put your email and you make up a password and why not even create a uh, uh, free account? Because that way you'll have instant access when you come back. And the reason you want to save your shirt is, uh, let's say you're designing it and all of a sudden the phone rings or all of a sudden you get called out or you have to run, uh, something like that, okay? You don't want to lose your designs and have to start over, especially if you're working on one uh, that's got a little bit more detail in it, all right? So go ahead and save it and then uh, it'll show up right to your email. And remember, this is a secure, uh, encrypted uh, site, and uh, none of your information is ever shared. Okay, so it's safe and secure. Let's go ahead and save it. And then once you save it, I'm just going to click out of here. Let's see, and go here to Add Art. Okay, I'll get some design ideas. Now, this would take you to that second uh, screen that you saw where it said uh, a blank canvas or uh, design something like that so let's choose design ideas see what happens oh wow look at all this cool stuff okay so now you have all these options and look at all these different subcategories and categories so let's just say, oh the guy uh, you you're going to have a company softball uh, game this weekend or or you get your kids and they're doing a little league or something that's sports or team related okay just click on mascots let's see what we got here or let's go athletic department let's see what the athletic department has for us take a look here and then all of these you may have to choose from now these you'll be able to change let's take a look what do we got here Anything stand out? Anything look good here? Let's keep going. What do we got? Oh, wow. Look at this. This looks pretty cool, huh? Because you got a flag football game going on, or your, your kids are playing flag football. Let's choose this, see what happens. And there it goes, right on your shirt. But hey, that's not the name of your team. So what you do is you'll notice all these are lined up over here. And you just scroll down and it'll take you all the way down. So let's just change this uh, top uh, name from uh, Gridley to, how about your? We'll do all caps. How's that? And let's go down here and click over there and see how it changes. And let's go, oh, let's go. Let's put a Y in here instead of a G. How about that? Get rid of that G. You see how you easily just put your uh, text up here in this box, and it, boom, shows right up. That was a G, now it's a Y. Okay. And yeah, let's, let's make that just a little bolder. So let's just click this outline up here on the Y. Notice we're on the Y, and I'm just choosing outline making it thicker oh now it shows up a little thicker okay now football scroll down here click on football and let's just change this to team okay get rid of this okay your team with a Y that's pretty cool hmm this looks a little close together so let's go to team and move let's move your up first just a little so click on your and see these you nudge them watch it when we nudge the up arrow watch what happens to your oh let's see how yours moving up a little bit eh, one nudge look good now let's move this at uh, team down Okay, now let's use the down arrow here and nudge it down. See how team's moving down? Oh, it's reading much better, easier to read. Oh, but it's running into this athletic here. Okay, which you may change change this here. You know, maybe your city or state or a slogan or something. But let's go ahead and move that down so it's not in the way of that team. See how nice and balanced that looks? Okay. And then as you scroll down, what else? Hmm. You know, these lines or this stripe sort of takes away from it. Let's get rid of the stripes. All you do is you click on that. Or let's go back. 
you see this X? Let's go down. And just click on the X and watch the stripe disappear. Gone. See that? Watch this one. Gone. Click that. Boom. Gone. Wow. Now, does that look pretty cool or what? Okay. Just remember, choose save. Okay. Email. And then uh, you already did this. All you have to do is log in right here and automatically save it and go right to your email. Okay. Double click it. There's the front. Let's say you want to add a little note. You're ready to order. You just put in here, you know, maybe please. Uh, Review design to make sure all looks good. You know, something like that. You may save a note. And then that way, uh, your design will be reviewed. Something like that. Like anything that doesn't that looks amiss. Or maybe you want to move this ball up just a smidgen. Let's move it up a smidge. Boom. Right there. You know, more balance. Looks better. Okay. Leave us a note. Okay, and then once you've saved it, or let's say you already saved this and you came back and you're ready to order, go ahead and check out. And we'll cover the checkout process in the next video.